Hello, and welcome to the fourth Sentient Connect training video. Today, we are going to learn how to accept a shift and decline a shift. As you can see, I have logged into my dashboard, and at the bottom of the screen, I see that I have been invited to two shifts. The first starts on Monday, April the 13th, and the second starts on Wednesday, April the 22nd. Let us commence working through Wednesday, April the 22nd. I have been invited to the organization PINA's Umbrella of Centers, and the specific center that I will be working at is called PINA's Child Care Center. The shift starts at 7.30 in the morning through until 9.30 in the morning, and I, if I choose to accept this position, would be working most likely in the preschool room. I am interested to learn more about this position and so I click on details. A plethora of information arises once I do click on details. I can see that the center is requesting either an RECE or an ECA. Again, it reaffirms that I will be working at one of the centers for PINA's umbrella of centers and that I will be working for a minimum of five hours. I can see that this is a split shift and that it starts at 7.30 until 9.30, and then I return for three o'clock and work from three o'clock until six o'clock. Upon arrival, it says that I should check in with Pina K. Usually, I check in with the supervisor. I notice that there is a note about this position. Whenever there is a note, you will see a number right next to the notes tab. I will click on the notes tab and read what it has to say. It reads, please note this is a split shift and the client wishes to have the same staff for both times, morning and afternoon. That is good information to know. I also look at the attachments tab just in case they have attached a policy, a procedure, a map, or anything else that they wish for me to view. Going back to the details page, I can now choose to either accept or decline the shift. Returning to my dashboard, I want to explore other jobs that I've been invited to. I can see that I have been invited to a multi-day shift, Tuesday, April 14th until Thursday, April 16th. This job looks a little different than the last one because it states that I have been requested with an asterisk. This means that myself, along with potentially a select small group of other supply staff have been requested for this job. Although it starts in four days, I only have three days to make a decision before everyone else is invited who would be qualified and available to work this job. It is at Pina's Umbrella Centers. It is at the location of Pina's Montessori School. And again, from April 14th, starting at 8.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon, and they are looking for a Montessori teacher. I'm very interested to learn more, and so I click on the Details button. A plethora of information arises, including this note that says, You're requested. This job is reserved for you and other requested substitutes until Monday, April 13, 2020 at 2.17 p.m. It is open. Again, they are looking for a Montessori teacher, and I could get a total hours of 24 because every day I would be working eight hours per day, as it states here. I have to make a decision whether or not I want to accept or decline the job, but I do note that there is a note and attachment associated with this job. I'm going to click on the notes and read what it says. Please remember to wash your hands according to Toronto Public Health. Also, the Centre wishes all staff working to bring and wear indoor shoes upon arriving. There is also an attachment, which I can download by clicking on the file. The hyperlink is always the word of the file. I encourage everyone to download any attachment associated with a request. Clicking back to details, I now need to make a final decision. I am going to accept this job. It sounds like a terrific opportunity. 
I click on accept and a pop-up screen comes up, just double checking that I do actually want to accept this job. I absolutely do and click on the accept button. I have been so busy accepting jobs that I have lost track as to which days I'm working and at what center. There are two ways that I can view the jobs that I have accepted. The first, at the bottom left hand side of the screen, there is a tab titled My Jobs and I can see that I have accepted three jobs. The second option is the calendar option, in which case I'm going to click on the calendar button at the top of the page. This will bring up my month-long calendar and I can see that I am working Monday the 13th until Thursday the 16th at Pina's Montessori School from 8.30 in the morning until 4.30. And on Wednesday, the 22nd of April, I have that split shift from 7.30 until 9.30 and 3 o'clock until 6 o'clock at Pina's Child Care Center, not the Montessori School. I can click on any of these jobs for more information. So let's say that I'm curious about the details of Monday the 13th at Pina's Montessori School. All I need to do is click in the green box and the details of the job will arise. I can go back to read the note. I can also open any attachment that might be associated with the job. I can see the details of the number of hours that I will be working and I can choose to release myself from the job. If I am for any reason not able to work on Monday because something has arisen that is very important to attend to, I can release myself or cancel myself from the job. In order to do so, I click on the release button and it states, do you want to release yourself from this job on April 13th? You will no longer be scheduled to work the job and the job will be returned to the pool of open jobs. The reason I have a funeral to attend on 0413, unfortunately and unexpectedly. I've written my reason and now I click on the release button. This removes my job from the calendar and if I go back to the calendar I can say I am not working on the 13th. Again, if you'd like to go back to your dashboard and for some reason or another, you are able to work that shift, you can re-accept it should you choose and should another person have not actually accepted that job in the meantime. You can also go to the My Jobs tab as previously determined and view a list of jobs that you have accepted. Congratulations, you now know how to accept a job, decline a job, and cancel yourself from a job.